In this video present the introduction of human-computer interaction, including what its CI is and why it is important. Its CI stands for human-computer interaction. It's a cross-disciplinary area, for example, in engineering, psychology, ergonomics, design, that deals with the theory, design, implementation, and evaluation of the ways that humans use and interact with computing devices. It is a cross-disciplinary area in uh, ergonomics because an ergonomically friendly environment is essential within the workplace as it promotes higher staff morale, less absences amongst employees from the workplace. Ergonomics and its CI are related to each other because ergonomics is the working environment the end user is operating within and its CI is the interaction the end user actually has with the computer system. What is its CI? As its name implies, its CI consists of three parts. The first one is the user, the computer itself, and the ways they work together. User, we may mean an individual user, a group of users working together. And when we are talking about the computer, we are referring to any technology ranging from desktop computers to large-scale computer system. For example, if we were discussing the design of a website, then the website itself would be referred to as the computer. And then the interaction, which is a concept to be distinguished from another similar term, or what we call the interface. Interaction refers to an abstract model by which humans interact with a computing device for a given task. And an interface is a choice of technical realizations. Of course, we have the hardware or software of such a given interaction model. The distinguishing concepts of interaction model and interface. When we say interaction model, it is a design model that binds an application together in a way that supports the conceptual models of its target users. For example, ikaw ay pumasok sa isang website and then when you click uh, some option there, and then dadalhin ka sa ibang page. So this interaction model uh, describes how user navigates to a page, perhaps how they select an object of interest on the page, or how they perform an action on that object. For example, you are purchasing it, booking an itinerary for it, or adding it up. So, interaction model also uses design patterns that describe the model. An interface includes the software and hardware. For example, when you are visiting a website, of course, you are going to use a Windows as your operating system. And in hardware, of course, we have the monitor, the mouse, and the keyboard. And with that, you are now performing a task. Of course, meron kayong gagawin doon sa isang website, then you are performing a task. Importance of human-computer interaction. So, why it is important? Its CI has become much more important in recent years as computers and embedded devices have become commonplace in almost all phases of our lives. Its CI is critical since it will be necessary for goods to be more successful, safe, helpful, and functional. It will make the user experience more enjoyable in the long term. As a result, having someone with HCI skills involved in all phases of any product or system development is critical. HCI is also necessary to prevent goods or projects from failing completely. Early focus of HCI. The first one is how to design interaction and how to implement for high usability. High usability means that the resulting interfaces are easy to use, yan, madaling gamitin, efficient for the task, ensure safety, and lead to a correct completion of the task. And the next is a user interface. Represents the internal state on output peripherals. Captures and manages input from input peripherals. The medium through which the communication between human and computer takes place. Through the interfaces, user actions are translated into instructions that are comprehensible for the computer. And user experience, what is it? 
User experience is how a person feels when interacting with a system. This includes a website, mobile application, desktop software, and basically any form of human device. User experiences, goals of human-computer interaction. The first one encompasses the functional completeness. When we say functionality, it refers to whether a design works and helps the user meet their goals and needs. When a design is highly functional, it does what is expected to do and does it well. For example, gagamit ka ngayon ng isang uh, application which is the Google Map na kung saan ay dadalhin ka or ibibigay sa iyo yung tamang ruta kung saan ka pupunta or when you are using a Facebook. So, di ba, ikaw ay nakapag-like, then share, and uh, follow, and also you can also do a comment. That's why until now, still, you're using that Facebook. High usability. When we say usability, it is the measure of how well a specific user in a specific context can use a product or design to achieve a defined goal effectively, efficiently, and satisfactorily. Next is the aesthetic appeal of the interactive artifact. So this refers to the way a product looks and feels. Kaya nga pag may bagong labas na bagong design ng phone, ay bili ka agad para sunod sa oso because of its aesthetic appeal na sobrang ganda talaga. Next is compelling user experience. For example, yung mga Gcash wherein napakabilis mag-send at magtanggap ng pera. Yan. Ganon din, for example, sa ATM card na kung saan napakadali niyang dalhin, mabilis mag-transact. So, an easy to use, intuitive user experience that is appealing to the user and a delight to carry out tasks with a compelling user experience. So, that's all the uh, video presentation about the HCI and its importance for introduction. Thank you.